And it's back and it's back and it's back. Hello guys, how are you guys doing man? My name is Louis Spool. Welcome to LS TV. Beautiful things are gonna happen this year, guys. And for those I've never seen for a long time, happy new year guys. Thank you for staying here. Like thank you for not leaving me. I appreciate you guys very much. I feel a bit sick right now, but um Many people are wondering why I'm no longer posting videos, uh, so I'll probably make a video explaining that later on, but uh, for now, this is a video that just caught my attention, like when will it be accepted to be Muslim and gay? Uh, I don't know, I'll have to ask some of my Muslim friends, but please comment down below what you guys think. Do you guys think it will ever be accepted in any religion? I know not only Muslim people watch this channel, but also some Christians and other people have got different um, religions. So let's find out what this video says, guys. It's a very, very interesting topic. Some people do not want to talk about it. Some people don't like gay people based on their own um, explanations and opinions. So let's get to it, man. <laughs> I'm back. You identify yourself as gay. Why do you then choose, because it is a choice, why do you then choose to be a Muslim when it says explicitly within Islam, within Judeo-Christian tradition, that that is prohibited? It's the choice. Oh, so, I would just like to say that sexual orientation is not a choice. It's not a choice at all. Hey, she's so she's heated up like she's burning. It's a choice at the end of the day. You can choose to be a Muslim. It doesn't say in the Quran that it's prohibited. What is prohibited is the act. I can give you the ayah that it says it is. I am not here to talk about that one ayah. Let Asif speak, please. Let Asif speak. Let him respond to your question. I am not here to talk about that one act. What I'm here to talk about is love. Love between two men, two women. When will it be okay and accepted to be gay in Islam? That is not, it's a loaded question, but I'm sorry. You either be gay or you be Muslim. No one is forcing you to be Muslim. Okay, wow. Okay. <clears throat> I, I was brought up in an Islamic household. I'm from an Islamic community. I'm from a very conservative Pakistani community. If my mom and dad can accept me, why can't the wider community accept me? For okay, that, that, that's a good point. Um, I personally think that the question you're asking is when will the Muslim community accept you as a, um, a gay person, accept gay or homosexuality? The thing is, um, homosexuality is not accepted in Islam, so the Muslim community will never accept homosexuality in a whole. But you being gay, on, not on a judgmental level, you can be gay, but then at the same time, if you choose to follow a religion which prohibits um, homosexuality, then you can't turn around and ask when will they accept for you to be gay. Can I just say that? Yeah. Can I just say, what are people like me meant to do then? You know, gay teenagers, the okay. suicide rate is going up, homophobic crime is going unreported, and it's because of attitudes like this that, that is causing people like me to dilemma. The danger with literals is in insisting that there is only one interpretation or one way of doing this. If we take that literally, if we take literalism literally, then only 200 years ago, slavery was accepted and justified by religion. Then we finish. The Quran explicitly and literally, let me finish and make this point. The Quran literally allows for slavery as does the Bible, but we no longer practice it because our attitudes and interpretations have changed. There is no one Muslim community, there is no one way of interpreting things. If he wants to identify as being Muslim, as this gentleman here said, Abdullah, he said he's not going to tell him he's not a Muslim, and I applauded him for that. He said he's not going to discriminate against him, you just did. And so even he disagrees with him. Yeah, this is wow. God does not exclude anyone. That is a crucial first point. And everyone has the right to define for themselves what their identity is. And we all have identities which quite often are contradictory. We all have to find some way of navigating that, of remaining faithful to our vision of God, and okay. also remaining faithful to who we are. But to add to that also, the rest of society, in particular state, should not try to impose its view or its morality upon Islam. This is a conversation that has to happen within Islam. That's what might be room, here. There might that's be room, here there, and, and that's what it, there might be room for growth and change. Ultimately, you decide for yourself. But the idea of saying to someone, you're a sinner, even if you do define them as a sinner, you cannot be part of this religion. 
That to me is anti-God, because that's a decision that God makes. Not you. Not you. Okay. To what you said about interpretation, you're pushing the idea that there is no true interpretation of Islam. By that exact logic, you're saying that the people, the extremists, right, are, are their, their interpretation of religion is also valid. There is mainstream Islam, there are things that are universally accepted within Islam. For example, the gentleman brought up the idea of, of, of drinking, of doing drugs, you know. Those things are prohibited within Islam. I can choose not to do them, or I can. But for me to go out and say, I'm a Muslim, and I drink, and that should be accepted, that's not religion. That's yeah, not what you're subscribing to. You're conflating, you're conflating choice and how somebody is without choice. That first of all, he was born the way he is, and I'm sure he can speak for himself. What I would like to say to you is, many, many Muslims would consider you sinful for not covering your face and would insist that you're sinful and you can't be a Muslim for showing your face and not wearing the jilbab, the long gown. So at the end of the day, this is all interpretive. And just as you've got the right, in fact, they also... No, no, no. Please, let me, let me respond to you, please. No, 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 I'm talking about interpretation. Can I just finish my point? Go ahead, go ahead. They would also say that you shouldn't be speaking in front of men, you shouldn't be on television. Oh, come on. There are literalists who argue that, that too. We know that because they're in power. Let's just go back to Abdullah quickly, everyone, everyone. Osama bin Laden was asked, right, he was asked, uh, why, why do you go against the Islamic prohibitions of killing women and children? And he says, ah, oh, the law's not set in stone. He has a, he's a modernist. Osama bin Laden is a reinterpretationist modernist. He doesn't believe, he believes in different interpretations of Islam. You can reinterpret it. I am, he has the same mentality that Maj Nawaz has to reinterpret scripture when it suits him. In Islam, we believe he's, he's in rules, we believe in principles. Oh, yeah. You can't he's just so change those things. You can't yeah. just change those things when it suits you. <sighs> You can change those things when it suits you. Wow, guys, this is a this is a broad. Um, everyone is based on their own opinion. Write it down below. This is a broad, um, broad uh, discussion. You know, like this is the kind of discussion that will never actually end because people are gonna bring. Wow, man, how can I put this? Like, I don't know. Like, okay, put it this way. Put it this way. What if you had a child? Let's say you're Muslim, right? You, you have a child, and the child happens to be born gay. As they say that you can't choose to be gay, you're born gay. Okay, okay, right? So, will you accept your child as they are, and love them as the gay person that they are? And then, now, when your child, can your child be identified as Muslim? If you are Muslim, and you have accepted your child, but can your child be really identified as Muslim? Since it's not allowed, like, you can't be gay and Muslim. The girl said choose one. What? Wow. Wow. If you're born gay, so by default, you can't, you cannot, by default, you cannot be Muslim. That kind of sucks. What do you guys think? Tell me down below, man. Comment down below and Please guys, don't be too harsh on the comment section. Just voice your opinion and don't, don't hate anyone. Just voice what you think and please back up your opinion with facts. Because sometimes raising an opinion with no facts, you're just talking man and you're not making sense. And with that being said guys, thank you for watching. I'm back, currently feeling sick. I've been gone for a while like I said. But I'm back guys and thank you for those who've been here for a long time, who've been here for the past couple of months, I've not been posting. Thank you for staying and thank you for watching my videos and um, thank you for your support man. I love you guys so much, have a good day or good night, whatever time it is in your zone. Peace.